The 2026 Jeep Cherokee arrives with an important heart transplant, and it is more than a new power unit. The EP6 is a 1.6 liter, turbocharged, four-cylinder engine with direct fuel injection and the kind of calibration work that signals a new chapter for Jeep's midsize icon. The headline is obvious. Downsizing and turbocharging to unlock real-world efficiency without giving up day-to-day -day drivability. But when you look closer at how this engine is built, where it is assembled, and why Stellantis put serious money behind it, you start to see a bigger story about smart manufacturing and smarter propulsion. Start with the manufacturing choice. Final assembly. For this 1.6 liter engine happens at the Dundee engine plant in Michigan, a facility with a workforce that knows small displacement, high technology engines inside and out. In 2022, Stellantis invested $99 million across three plants to prepare for volume production of this new engine family. That was not a publicity splash. It was a retooling plan that touches machining, casting, and final assembly so that each major component is built to tighter tolerances and then married together with minimal variation. The takeaway for drivers is simple. Engines that feel consistent, quiet, and responsive from vehicle to vehicle. Now look at the technical mission. The EP6 uses direct fuel injection to meter fuel precisely at the point of combustion, which improves atomization and allows the engine computer to tune for both power and efficiency with more authority. The turbocharger is sized for quick response, so you get useful torque at low engine speeds and a smooth pull through typical passing maneuvers. Variable valve timing helps the engine breathe efficiently at different loads which reduces pumping losses during steady cruising and keeps the turbo in its sweet spot when you ask for more. Just as important is the hybrid flexibility engineered into the package. Stellantis designed the EP6 to sit comfortably in both conventional and electrified powertrains. That means provisions for electric motor integration, cooling circuit routing that anticipates additional thermal loads, and accessory packaging that leaves room for high voltage components. In a hybrid Cherokee, the engine can operate in its most efficient window more often, letting the electric side of the powertrain handle low speed launches, parking lot maneuvering, and light throttle cruising. The benefit is not only better fuel economy, it is also quieter operation in the city and a more relaxed feel in traffic. Durability and refinement were clearly part of the brief. Expect an aluminum block and head to keep mass in check, a rigid lower bed plate to reduce vibration, and a timing chain selected for long life. The calibration team's task is to balance the audible character that Jeep owners expect with the smoothness hybrid buyers demand. That shows up in details like engine start behavior. When the hybrid system wakes the engine, tip in response as the throttle opens, and how the engine hands off to the electric motor during creeping and coasting. Done right, the driver simply feels a confident surge with none of the hunting or droning that used to define small turbo engines. There is also a sustainability angle that is easy to overlook. Centralizing assembly in Michigan and distributing component work across North American plants shortens logistics paths and gives Stellantis control over material sourcing and quality. Casting shops are set up for improved aluminum recycling streams and line side quality checks are more robust than in previous generations. Those choices do not read like performance numbers on the spec sheet, but they contribute to longevity, lower ownership costs, and fewer warranty visits. Benefits you feel months and years after the new car smell fades. For Cherokee shoppers, the experience should translate into a sport utility vehicle that is easier to live with every day. Cold starts are cleaner and quieter. Merging onto a freeway happens with less effort. Long drives demand fewer stops because the hybrid capable EP6 lets the vehicle sip fuel during steady state cruising. And when the road turns to gravel or snow, the calibrated torque curve should make throttle control more intuitive so you place the vehicle precisely without second-guessing wheel spin. 
It is the kind of progress you notice not in a single heroic number, but in the way the vehicle simply gets out of your way and lets you enjoy the drive. The business case matters too. Investing $99 million in 2022 to tool up three plants is a signal that Stellantis sees this engine family as a backbone for multiple vehicles and multiple powertrains over the next product cycle. That scale helps control costs and encourages continuous improvement, which is how owners benefit from software updates, small hardware revisions, and better parts availability over time. If this deep dive helped, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss our latest uploads.